talking about why the Republic mainly chose Kamino, at least, in Legends, and completely chose Kamino in canon for the location of their cloning facilities. So we are going to start with some background information. Kamino is in the section of space, at least in Legends, called Wild Space, and in canon, it is simply known as the Unknown Regions. So, Wild Space in Legends is basically southeast of Coruscant, which is known as the center of the galaxy, although it is not the literal center of the galaxy, it is located at 000 on the galactic map, which means the exact origin. In canon, Unknown Regions basically refers to anything that isn't completely explored or completely discovered to the point where it is on the galactic map and everyone knows every single action that's going on the planet. Now, Kamino was also incredibly secluded due to the close proximity to the Rishi Maze, which was a sub-galaxy orbiting the Star Wars galaxy, which was very, very unvisited, and that goes the same with the Rishi Moon, which was also very, very unvisited. Rothana was also owned, was a planet near Kamino, was also owned by Quad Drive Yards, who were, who were very friendly with the Republic and actually ended up building much of the clone armament, guns, weapons, turrets, and vehicles, as well as starships, the famous Venator, Star Destroyer. In fact, almost every Star Destroyer you can possibly think of that was created in the Clone Wars and Empire era was made at Quad Drive Yards, or at least thought of at Quad Drive Yards, or one of their subsidiary parts of the company. And together, Quad Drive Yards and the Kaminoans created the Clone Army, which was why it was such a big deal that Kamino was next to Rathana. Now, the Kaminoans, who were the people who lived on Kamino, they were an incredibly cutthroat race. They went through a massive genocide early on in their species' existence when a massive flood swept over their planet and destroyed the majority of life living on said planet. Now, this caused the Kaminoans to try and adapt to their new environment. They had to they had to inbreed, they had to clone some of their own, they had to use genetic mutations to make sure only the best of the best survived, and anyone else who was considered quote-unquote defective was eliminated so that the gene pool could survive. And this is what makes them such expert cloners, because they've had this horrific experience early on in their species' existence. And... Obviously, this leads to a lot of the Kaminoans being incredibly cruel to the clones, such as Clone 99, who we see in some of the early episodes and in Season 3 of the Clone Wars. And Clone 99 was a janitor on Kamino, who ended up being a massive hero in the Battle of Kamino itself, where he played an important role in handing out weapons and munitions to clones such as Fives, Echo, Rex, Cody, and a few minor characters that were seen only very briefly. That's, again, not the point of this video. The Kaminoans were also incredibly loyal to the Republic due to they were loyal to whoever paid the most, and they knew how to keep a secret. They valued Palpatine a lot because they gave them they gave them a lot of money that they desperately, desperately needed. So when Palpatine issued the chip to be planted inside all of the clones, the Kaminoans did so without question. The clones were just cattle to be sold off to another vendor, and they would do whatever they could to make sure that their merchandise was up to date with all of the legends and mythology that surrounded their species and their cloning techniques. And now we get to the fundamental question. Why didn't the Republic outsource their cloning to other areas and other facilities? It would have made for a much better battle strategy. Instead of the CIS needing to take one world to collapse the entire Republic war effort, they would have had to take dozens, maybe hundreds of worlds, each with a different cloning facility just as good as the ones on Kamino. 
And there's a very simple answer, and that's just because they aren't Kaminoan. In Legends, the Republic outsourced some of their clones to the Spardai cloning facilities on a m moon orbiting Coruscant, but they just weren't as high quality as the ones made on Kamino. They just weren't as special, they weren't as good, they weren't as strong, they weren't as obedient. There was always a defect that the Kaminoan clones did not have, and that's just because of the sheer ruthlessness of the Kaminoans when trying to solve problems in cloning and clone genes. And another reason they chose this was because Cam Kamino was so incredibly secluded from the rest of the galaxy. They needed a planet that was both incredibly easy to guard and incredibly far away from the rest of the galaxy, and they got that with Kamino due to Rathana and Rishi being so close by. And the reason that in Legends, the Republic somewhat switched to the Spardai cloning facilities is because it was on Coruscant, which is obviously the most heavily protected world in the entirety of the Republic, because it is the capital of the Republic. And it would seem obvious enough to have a cloning facility in the capital of the Republic so that you could keep pumping out troops near the place where you need troops the most, where you need to police everything as much as possible. But that is the main reason the Republic stuck with Kamino, and personally I don't agree with this. They could have sent Kaminoans to other areas of the galaxy so that they could establish new cloning facilities to try and produce more clones. And I think it was a very bad tactical mistake that the Republic placed all of their clones in one specific area. And with a coordinated assault, the CIS could have easily taken the planet. But the Camino did come under siege three times by the CIS, and the CIS failed all three times. But with a strong enough attack, they might be able to breach through the Camino defenses. Anyway, that's going to be all for today. Tell me if you like this kind of content. Tell me if you want to see more of it in the future. If you don't want to see more of it, we have our normal Republic of War content coming out as usual. And I'm thinking about playing Republic Commando, because that seems like a great game. And we are sorely lacking some nice FPS on this channel. So tell me what you guys want. If you guys do like this kind of content, I have a video planned for you already. So just wait for that. Thank you, and as always, enjoy.